Well, you don't really see Emerald Weapon. You more see their silhouette when they're encased in stone or something at the bottom of the ocean or something like that. Which really wouldn't make sense chronologically, considering with, like, you know... Well, then again, I don't know where you actually see Emerald Weapon in Crisis Core. You might be in the northern uh, crater or something. You all right? Tifa? Tifa? Tifa! Oh, Cloud! That's right, I'm Cloud. No. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it, it's nothing. I'm okay. How long has it been? Five years. What is it? Actually, it's been seven years. You got your wish and joined Soldier, quit after the Sephiroth incident, and now you're a mercenary. You told me a lot about what happened after you left Nibelheim, but something's wrong. I felt there was something strange about the things you talked about. All the things you didn't know that you should, and other things you shouldn't know that you did. I wanted to make sure, but then I heard you were going far away. And I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I needed more time. And that's why I told you about the avalanche job. Hey, wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! He was 16 during the Nibelheim incident, which was five years ago. But does that mean he actually went to join Soldier when he was 14? Huh. That time frame makes it kind of confusing even more. I never paid attention to that line. It never really... You know what I mean? It never clicked in my head. Ding. Huh? The glare. You'll be better soon. You've been asleep for a long time. I'm hungry. Me too, actually. Hey, why don't you ask? About him. Don't worry. I know what happened. I don't know what happened to Cloud either. I guess I shouldn't tell you not to worry. None of them know if he's all right either. He's still alive, right? How long was I asleep? Let's see now. Must have been about seven days. Oh, I've already seen it. Don't worry. Got no time. Time? Hey, how about Meteor? I don't know about Omega Weapon. I mean, it is possible if they go into the Dirge of Cerberus story arc.
I thought Cloud would show up to save you all. Professor Hojo wanted to do a checkup on Cloud, too. What are you gonna do to Cloud? Sephiroth's alter ego. Meteor has been summoned. Essentially, it's all but over now. So there's no need for you to know now. No, maybe this, there is an important task for you. Yeah. Preparations for the public execution are complete. A execution? What are you going to get by executing us? You are to be executed for causing this situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone is punished. I take back what little praise I had for this damn jackass. Well, enjoy your last moments together. I'll tie your arms now. Oh boy. <laughs> Neon! Neon! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, boy. Again, though, why tie Barrett's arms when he can just bend over and present his cannon, if you get my meaning? <laughs> I don't know. This scene always made me feel weird as a kid. Even now it's making me feel a little weird. Hmm. Wonder who that dude in the coat is. He looks suspicious. The hell are these people? We will be broadcasting your miserable deaths live on national television. <laughs> you make me sick. If you gotta do it, do me first! Boink. Stuck up. <laughs> you know, I never thought of it, but I wonder if that Shinra soldier was actually on our side. Because that key looked a little too suspiciously placed, too, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, all of you! Damn, why now? How does it feel, Scarlet? <laughs> How you doing, Katie? But here's the thing about this section. I remember as a kid m being really, really curious if there was a special game over you could get here, but there's not. <laughs> Ain't you part of Shinra? You know, it'd be nice if uh, this right up here did show Tifa in the chair, but it doesn't. It just shows the chair. 
Or maybe it does. I can't really tell. Weapon. <laughs> Your orders? <laughs> no need to ask. We'll give a shot from our big cannon. <laughs> Activate cannon, target, weapon! <laughs> It'd be weird as hell being in one of those buildings when the cannon's about to shoot. Be like, oh honey, look! They're about to shoot the big cannon. But a cannon this large would surely recoil the entire town. You'd think they would even feel it down in the slums area. Preparations complete. Swing and a miss. Get him? Seems so. Weapon approaching. Speed 50 knots. Yeah, I know. I want to play it too. I just wonder if we'll have the opportunity to fight Sapphire Weapon in Final Fantasy VII Remake at some point. Also, there's a chance that Sapphire Me Weapon might be appearing in Final Fantasy XIV as well. I don't know if it will or not, though. It was just it was mentioned by name, though, during the Ruby Weapon line. Uh, I haven't done Ruby Weapon Extreme yet, aside from a learning group. Um, but normal mode's not too bad. Guess! Barret, help! Hold your breath as long as you can. Come on! I can't hold it forever! Shit! Gas room's probably locked from a different room. Tifa, I'll help you, I promise! <laughs> oh! Thanks for the raid, Jinrai! Whoa! An 11 party raid member, damn! God damn it! Let's run to the airport. Why the airport and leave Tifa here? We gotta take a chance. How y'all doing? We brought snacks. The airport's the other way. Mmm. 
But yeah, for all of you coming in from Jinrai's stream, how y'all doing, man? Man, I have 22 viewers now. Thank you, Jinrai. I haven't had that many viewers, like, ever, I don't think. Not, not since being on Hitbox and being on the front page for once. But then Hitbox kind of went weird, and I came back to Twitch and all that. There's Yuffie. As a camera, or as a news reporter. <laughs> Freaking Yuffie, man. I'll have to catch one of your streams sometime, Jinrai. Just to share the love, man. I think I'm following your stream, but, you know. Shut up, I'm in a hurry! Keen! It's me, Yuffie! What the hell are you doing here? Oh? Well, now we have Yuffie in our team. We have her back. Oh, I figured Twin Viper was going to be a weapon for her. <laughs> right now. Well, no, I think I've got something, something that I can give her, like... At least for now. Nah. And what rules are those, Genrai? Like, like, what, what, what rules would they be against? All right. Have a good lunch, Sorgatani. Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of lame. I mean, you shouldn't force interaction like that. But, I mean, it is a live stream, so I guess you would want them to react. And, 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 well, not react, but interact. But, man, I don't know. But, yeah, if I, if I use question, question, question right now, it'll do... <laughs> like 2,600 damage. Like 2,500 in there. Oh. Hammer Blow! One of the most useless limit breaks in the game. If not the most useless. Because all it does is eject one target, and that's it. Completely useless in boss fights. Did I make a wrong turn? You damn cat! <laughs> what the hell are we gonna do now? Don't let me coming soon. <laughs> Yo, better watch my back till the end, partner.
But yeah, a a as a kid, I, I remember um, just sitting here for a long, long time, seeing if maybe there was a, a, a special game over you got if, if uh, Tifa didn't get out of here in time. But there is none. Open it! did blow its head off. I never noticed that before, I'll be honest. I just knew it killed it. <laughs> I like how the guards are crawling down after me. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> that poor guard. He was two days from retirement too. Oh, Tifa! Man, they take so many huge, huge falls in this game and they're always okay. It's so crazy. But that's why they call it fantasy. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Oh yeah. <laughs> the flap sight. Holy flap sight, Batman. How are you? Oh yeah, I forgot that it was called the Sister Ray. The cannon, that is. <laughs> I love how she just like, yeah, okay. Punch your Tifa. Jeez, man. Ha! Flap sight. Flap slight. I win. Dominatrix just got domed. Run. Run to the end of the cannon! Okay. Did I mention that I love this game? Oh, 
boink. I always thought the graphics in that scene looked really weird, even for the PS1 era, but I didn't mind it. We have the high wind, and the skies are finally ours. We can fly high. Let's go on grand adventures now. We can fly so high. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> My cheeks hurt a bit. Well, no shit! <laughs> no. Just coming up with shit on my own, actually. Yep. <laughs> Hope you heard that. I'll be right back, though, guys. I need to get... Well, actually, I'll see if there's a... There should be a save point right over here, if I recall correctly. Oh, this is the Chocobo Stable area. Maybe the save point's not here until later, but I distinctly remember there being a save point right down here. Oh well. I really wish they would grow up, man. Oh well. What can you do? <laughs> I say not much. I'm definitely going to take a breather here in just a bit, though, and get some food. Welcome to my airship, the high wind! Oh, yeah! Up to ten times! Thank you, Neon! What? What? Sorry about that. Dr. Barrett. Ah, don't talk to me right now. No way we can get off of this train we're on! <laughs> You'd say everything's under control, Tifa. Ah, so blurry out of these things right now, man. They're fogged up as hell. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> Vincent! So glad you're alright, Tifa. He's a strange dude. <laughs> go do something damn fool! <laughs> Cheer up, sis. <laughs> I'll be able to see him someday. If we can find out where he is, the high wind will get us there in no time. Alright, Blue. Maybe Cloud is still stuck deep in the northern crater where the ground cracked up and swallowed him. 
buried in the depths of the underground. Deep within the earth. Are you talking about the life stream? The life stream sometimes gushes out to the surface from cracks in the ocean floor. I've heard that such a place exists. Maybe, just maybe clouds. Ah, Captain Sid! Oh, and Tifa, no matter what your goal is, you gotta be prepared. Go to your room and get ready for our operation. Alright. I'll talk to you to save. I could have sworn there was a save point right here. Huh. F V I I. -I. <laughs> We're going. Makes you wonder what the hell happened here. Because this big ass crater was not here before, you know? So, yeah. There was a mountain here before and a forest. Really, really, really makes you wonder what happened there. Okay, let's go talk to this guy again. I'm just really curious. And he tells me the bullshit. Ah! Never mind. Also, I like how it gets dark around Midgar like that. It's always been interesting to me. I think there's another uh, battle at Fort Condor that we can do, but ain't no point. That was where the Temple of the Ancients was. Oh, we're back there. Now then. I'll show you guys where uh, Knights of the Round actually is. Oh, wait. I can get this right now, actually. It's all about... How do I do the slide thingy? Okay. Yeah, something like that. I forget how to do this, man. Yeah, it's something like that. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So you go to land, and then you scoot it over there. And if you do it just right, it'll, you know... We almost had it. Never said it was easy. I thought it was the one over near Medeal that you could do this.
try a few more times. There we go, got it. Well, almost. But you see how it works. You see how Tifa was clipped into the mountainside there? There we go. You just do that side uh, side thingy that you can do. I probably should have saved before trying that trick. Because there is a chance that you cannot get back into the high wind after that. It's a very small chance, but there is a chance nonetheless. Or so I've heard. I've never experienced it. But yeah. Oh, it's Quadra Magic! Right! I thought it was fucking uh, HP MP swap. No, it's Quadra Magic that you can get early doing that. Otherwise, you would need a chocobo, like a gold chocobo or something to get to it. Fucking quadra magic, dude. Check that out. I forgot it was Quadra Magic. Like I said, I thought it was HP MP Swap. But yeah, do you see how the High Wind kind of landed in midair there? You can kind of see that, right? Well, that's how you know that it worked. And you can still take off right away. But um, the way that you do it is if you're on the PlayStation version, you hold square so that you can keep your ship in the same thing, same orientation. And then you press circle to land in the square again. And you just keep trying to finagle it until it works. That's the only tip I can really give you about that. But yeah. Um, so we're going to save, and then I'm going to go AFK for just a moment to get some food and get a pick-me-up and whatnot, guys, and then we'll be back in a few moments. Mainly tri stoners. <laughs> Super Ball. That's a weapon for Yuffie, and it's pretty good, too. I think it's also an amazing throwable as well. Balls of steel. Balls, balls, balls of steel. <laughs> ah! All right. You know what? Since we're oops, since we're here, let's just get beta again for the third time. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Zalem. Tasty, tasty Tifa. Um, nom 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 nom. 
Watermelon tasty! <laughs> there we go! Thank you! Counter beta! Also, how you doing, Leo? <sighs> trying to think. I know we're supposed to go to Medeal. I'm just trying to think what to do right now. Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys where, uh, da da da, uh, well, Ruby Weapon's right there, but he's not there right now, but he will be. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to show you guys where Knights of the Round is, and why you need a Gold Chocobo to get it. Gold Chocobo is literally the only way to get it. I want to know if someone found this on their own, because it's way off the beaten path, dude. Check this out. It's not even on the map. But yeah, right there is where Knights of the Round is. And now you see why you need a gold chocobo, because of the forest there. There's no other way to get to it, literally. Gold chocobo is the only way. Gold chocobo or bust. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine so. Hey, yo. This is, uh... I think this is... Nah. I don't need a gold chocobo for that, dude. Well, I mean, I still need a gold chocobo, but I mean, I'm not gonna breed a gold chocobo is what I was meaning. I think I can get Goblin Punch here. I think. Goblin Punch. I didn't see who got it, though. Was it Barret that got it? Yeah, Barret. The one that got it. Okay. Now, okay, Sith has it. Now we just need to wait for Tifa to get it. And hope that Barrett doesn't cover it. Oh, Leo nuts. There we go. <laughs> oh, 
Well, see, the problem with getting, um... The, the problem with breeding a gold chocobo is that it requires, um... Racing a lot of the gold chocobo. You have to get them S rank, and they have to be from certain areas, and you have to use the correct choco nut and all that other stuff. There's all kinds of guides you can find on it that'll help you out with that. Me, personally, I'm good. I automatically get a gold chocobo. Um, well, it doesn't take that long if you know what you're doing. Like, less than an hour, even. But, it's still tedious as hell. Um, but, I get an automatic gold chocobo when you beat... Um, I think it's... Yeah, it's Ruby Weapon. You get an automatic gold chocobo when you do that. So, yeah. The only advantage to breeding your own gold chocobo, though, is that... Um, you can get Knights of the Round a hell of a lot earlier, for one. Um, you'll be able to also then use Knights of the Round against Emerald Weapon, which, if you do it the way that I do, you normally wouldn't have that. And, uh, your Gold Chocobo will actually be a half-decent racer. Um, but, uh, it won't be... Or, I mean, it'll be better than the automatic Gold Chocobo you get, because the automatic Gold Chocobo is kind of crap. Let's see, does this lead to a Materia Cave too? I forget. No. No, it does not. Okay. But you can still do the trick here. The the landing trick that we should that I showed you before. Actually, I want to head over to Wutai real quick, because I want to see if I can do that uh, landing trick over there. I don't think you can. I think you actually need at least a black chocobo to get over there. But um I, I can't remember. And no, it's exclusively from beating Ruby Weapon. Because that's what gets you the Desert Rose. Yeah, there's not even a landing strip you can use over here. See? You can't land there either. Yeah, so there's no way. You would need at least a green Chocobo to get over here. So am I able to get Final Heaven now, or does it... Oh, God. Does it require me to have Cloud? I mean, could always try. Never hurts. Well, found an elemental materia I didn't know about. Well then, <laughs> Seven is so full of secrets, man. You learn something new even 20 years later. How about that? Okay. Actually, I want to swing by Rocket Town for a second. Ah, uh, nah. Let's go to Medeal. Oh, by the way, this is where Chaos is. But, we can't get it. Unless there's a way to, to land the airship right here, which there's not. I can tell you that much right now. Not without some sort of weird glitch, but yeah. You can't get there any other way. Oh. Oh. We can go to Frog Forest. Um I don't want to go there yet. Um, I don't want to go there yet. In card go! Yo! Have you checked out this video over here? Maybe you should. How about that one over there? 
I'd recommend it. Yo, if you left your thoughts in the comment section down below, I sure hope you have so far, make sure you subscribe, and if you want to stay up to date, get that bell on. Hey, there's also a Patreon down there if you actually want to support the channel. I appreciate it. Have a good day.